lacrosse is in Billerica this evening. We've had a couple of squalls rolling on through. And Mike, a little change from the 70 degree readings we saw last Friday. Yes, Eric, that, that's right. We've felt those temperatures drop throughout the night. The wind pick up and several snow squalls. It's snowing as we speak. All signs that winter isn't over yet. Snow squall is quickly moving through the area tonight ahead of what could be one of the coldest days of the year. I love the snow. I do. But it's better than having it all year round, too. Just, you know, enough to say, okay, you know, I have a, I've had enough, and by then it's like match. Winter's return having some wishing we still had those 60 degree days from last week. Can you say, you know, one day it's nice, one day it's bad? While the early on warm days can be enjoyable for some, it can be potentially devastating for local farmers. So far this year, we've had three record warmths. We can look at the buds here. This is not good. Bill Griggs, owner of Griggs Farm in Bill Ricca, says winter dormancy is broken. He thinks the apple buds will make it, but is worried about his peaches surviving the weekend freeze. These peach buds are swollen. We can kiss this crop goodbye. Kay Johnson runs the Bill Ricca Farmers Market and says this cold weather destroys the supply of local fruits. It makes it much more difficult because we sell local produce only, and uh, it makes it it's more, it's scarce. And Greg says people at home should not worry about their tulips and other flowers that are sprouting because they will survive the freeze and temperatures above zero. We're live in Bill tonight. Mike LaCrosse, WBZ News.